Welcome back. Welcome back. Would you mind introducing this young, we young lovely, lovely lady? We have a lovely guest here. Yes. Her name is Linda Batisto. And have you, if you have um, been in some local stores, you might have heard or seen her product, Liz and Linda Pepper Jelly, mm -hmm. which is your specialty. Yes. And how did you first come up with this? Now you're from Harrison, by yes, the way. Yes, you, yes, no, you, not from Harrison. But you live here. Yes, I do now. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Uh, no, my mom, I used to make this recipe, the original recipe, with my mother. Okay. And every Thanksgiving holiday, and then we would hand it out at Christmas time with a block of cream cheese and a sleeve of crackers. And we'd hand it out in little baby food jars, mm -hmm. and I would decorate the lid and all that. So Aww. anyway, we did that, and 34 years later, my mom, Liz, had passed away, but I had continued the tradition. Well, one day at church, uh, somebody had come up and complimented me on my jelly and um, Shelby Akel was standing there and she had had some of course and she said Linda if you would get your license I would like to sell it. That started Liz and Linda's pepper jelly wow. and uh, April 2004 I sold my first jar to Shelby and uh, I started calling stores within a 60 mile radius and uh, would tell them about my product. Mm -hmm. I would drop off a jar and then they would if they call me back, then I would take them a case. I was renting a space downtown to make the product in. Wow. Hmm. And within a month, or maybe it was about one or two months, I had to get a manufacturer because I could wow. not keep up. Wow. Is that right? Yeah. And wow. so uh, this April, I will have been in business eight years. And Congratulations on that. Wow. And it's that is awesome. Right. Awesome. And I you put in a lot of work to get to this point, yes. and, and it's certainly paying off for you. Now, yes. now the, the, the unique part of this product, it's a jelly, but it's a pepper jelly. Tell us. It's made with bell peppers. The, green, the original is made with green bell peppers. Okay. The red is made with red bell pepper and just a little jalapeno, so it's real sweet and okay. tangy and mild, and then it kicks you. You bet. And then... The Plum Perfect is made with the original recipe, but with a lot of plums. And it's okay. got a really great, just You a great mentioned uh, if you like peanut butter and jelly, that, yes. that would be I a, use the Plum Perfect on my peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day, and it makes the best. Mm. It really does. And then my award winner is yes, called... Yes, tell us about that. It's You're the Golden Pecan, and I use yellow bell peppers and a lot of pecans in that one. Mm. And um, so You it, said award winner. Let's talk about... So talk about you, the award. The first yeah. time I went to Atlanta was in 2007, and... It was awarded one of the best of Atlanta awards. Now, what what were what did you go to in Atlanta? What it was the gourmet food show. Okay. It's with the home and gift and gourmet. Okay, mm -hmm. it's where all the retailers go to mm -hmm. buy for their store. Cool. Okay, cool. Yeah. and then I also have a permanent booth in, in Dallas at the gourmet food show there. And um, in 2011 and 2012, it has won best condiment at that show. Nice. Nice. So nice. anyway, it, it's, it, I'm real proud of that one. That's nice. No doubt. And you said you're nationwide now? Yeah, I am just about in every state because all these stores, the retail stores, come to Atlanta, Dallas. They go to all the food shows, and so they go to the gourmet food area, and they pick up my product. Hmm. Wow. So hmm. I'm shipping all over the country. And you mentioned that you are a wholesaler. That yes, I sell to retailers, and then... And so if anybody wants to know where they can buy it, I get emails all the time. Where can I buy your product mm -hmm. in my hometown? And I, if I don't have it in their hometown, I email them and list the places they can buy it close okay. to them. If all else fails, they can go to my website and they order it. So you can <laughs> order how many jars you want. And so you're, if you're in the Harrison area, you probably need to go to Shelby Akles. Well, Shelby's. Several. Bungalow Design, Neighbors Mill, and Nature's Wonders. Okay. Uh, this past year, I took all the dye. My mom and I used to put a f one or two drops of food coloring in mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. and I decided that everybody's health conscious these right, days. Right. So I had all dye taken out, and it's all natural. And so now the um, health food stores can carry it. Okay. Well, and it, since we're talking about more healthy and all, you said you mentioned too that you were trying to help with being green and yes. all that. So why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Well, uh, if anybody has packaging, like packaging peanuts, clean bubble wrap, <coughs> and they don't know what to do with, they can take it to Methvin Sanitation. They save all their packaging, all the packaging that's dropped off. I uh, go there every day, not every day, about twice a week. Right. And I recycle my boxes, and I pick up packaging. And then Shelby and 
Nature's Wonders, Sisters, they all save their bubble wrap and peanuts. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, so it's effort, not sure. filling up a landfill. Exactly. Right. It's helping right. me with my business. Exactly. Cool. Now, this recipe, mm -hmm. is this something that was just conjured up, or was it It was, was it my a mom's, and, you oh, know, she, I don't even know where she got it. Okay. Wow. I just remember stirring that pot, you know, <laughs> and just... Well, that's a great, know. great legacy to to, yeah. to come this far with this. And then these are recipes. The photos down here are photos of recipes that customers have sent me. What they've done with Using my product. Your product. Oh, cool. wonderful! Cool. Okay. They're wonderful. They're wonderful recipes, and I can say that because I didn't come up with them. Um, and this one right here, I want you to taste. This is a baked summer sausage. Uh, my hands are clean. I right, and. Uh, <laughs> You, with the award-winning. Uh-huh. And you bake the summer sausage with, cover it with white caro syrup oh, and okay. coarse black pepper. And then, no, hold on just a minute. And then you uh, put a dollop of the golden pecan on it. So try this. Okay. Here's sure. your And then, Napkin, sir. Uh, when you want to, this is like the easiest order ever because all you have to do is buy uh -huh. a block of cream cheese and put some wheat thins out or any kind of cracker that you like. That is heavenly. Mm. And oh my. <laughs> this is the red. Thanks, That's good. The summer sausage. Oh, mm -mm -mm, with the Yeah, I can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. And this is the original. Mm mm mm. Oh, Linda, thank you. That's the original. I like that spicy. I think I've had the original and it was absolutely delicious, but well, and if you just, I mean, oh, the mm, recipes or mm. if, you know, you want to get a little creative, like uh, when my husband, anytime they have something at the bank, mm -hmm. mm. I make the golden pecan bacon dip or corner pharmacy's favorite dip or one of these recipes. I, I just had it. this. I like the kick of the, I, I, like, yeah, that. I, like, I like that. I love kick. that. I do too. You, you wouldn't think that that would be a combination, but mm -hmm. it, it really is. Right. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, it's just like an easy, easy hors d'oeuvre. Mm -hmm. I know that you all are watching this and going, uh, I am so jealous. This is really good. <laughs> I'm trying this. Delicious. So our viewers out there, if they want to sample any of these products, they need to locally go to Shelby's. Shelby's, Bungalow Design, okay. Neighbors Mill, Nature's Wonders. You're also in Mountain Home. You've got yes. some of the places. Listed. I have a, a store called Gift Teak. Mm -hmm. I have a store. It used mm. to be called Peeps Little Bit Gourmet, and now it's called Judicious Spirits in Mountain Home. Okay, I know where that's at. And then in Cotter, I have Toll House Antiques and Gifts. Cool. Well, how great that. that well, you go ahead and get your jar so of in, any of the pepper jellies. This is awesome, Thank awesome you. stuff. I guess I want to eat lunch now. I've, I was gonna say, I've already eaten all I've my already crackers. Eaten all well, I'm going to leave this so you guys can pick it. Oh out. no, <laughs> really? Cool. Darn. <laughs> Oh, and this is my gift box set. Okay. Stores will make it up for you if oh, okay. you want. For the person that has everything, it's a great gift. No doubt. You can mix and match there. You can decide what jellies you want on it, and the stores will make it up. <gasps> How well, wonderful. Well, Linda, what's next for you? Yes. I mean, what? are you well, wanting to push, do a little push forward on your marketing or I, I don't products, know. Or? I need to go to the New York Fancy Food Show, mm -hmm. and everybody's going, you need to come up with another product. So I don't know. My mm. mind's always turning, so mm -hmm. I don't know what I'll do next. Well, you're a person to be envied, to be oh, living in a place you. like Harrison, Arkansas, and to have a na nationwide product like this. I am lucky, but I think it's because my mom's above, and she's, she's giving directing me. Watching okay. out over cool. exactly. exactly. Linda, it's nice to well, meet you, thing. and you. good luck with your product. And, Thank you. Uh, so glad that you were able to come and, and tell our viewers about it, if they sure. haven't heard or seen, and that we got to see. Get out and try, try a jar of any of these jellies at, yeah. at those places we mentioned earlier. We'd like to thank all of everyone that's been on the show today. We want to thank um, people representing Sweeney Todd, which is Daryl Horton and Ross Slavic, Janet Bochelle, okay. Helen Reynolds from Newton County Senior Center for the Meals on Wheels. Please take uh, help them out with their Meals on Wheels program. Bruce Salzman, who is here talking about the African Children's Choir that will be coming up on March 25th at Eagle Hots Baptist Church. And Linda Batisto here with us to demonstrating and talking about her product, Liz and Linda Pepper Jelly. Thank you, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm. <gasps>